Welcome to episode two of Review, your favorite YouTube show where I review the most random stuff I can find and just give my opinion on it because everyone cares about my opinion. In case you haven't seen the last episode, then go ahead and see it. Review number one, where I review Roblox Corridor of Hell. It's, it's a pretty cool video if I do say so myself, you know? Uh, anyway, enough of this self-promotion. Let's go ahead and get started with this episode. So in this episode, I'll be reviewing Plants vs. Zombies. Roblox Edition. Now for those of you who don't know, Plants vs. Zombies is a tower defense game created by PopCap and EA. Well, created by PopCap then bought by EA. And then in the game you defend your lawn of plants that just happen to attack stuff against a horde of zombies, which are trying to eat your brains. And these plants will grow and help fight for you. And by the way, it is a very iconic game. If you haven't heard of it, then what the hell are you doing? It's like Angry Birds fame, come on. Plants vs. Zombies and once you create multiple sequels and spin-offs like Garden Warfare, a Facebook game, number Plants vs. Zombies 2, PvZ 3, Garden Warfare 2, Plants vs. Zombies Heroes, and, and a few other Chinese versions. But anyway, the Roblox Edition was created by Insanely Luke and this other guy, his name is there because my Wi-Fi is really bad. And then this game was created in 2010, and I got an update, like, in August or something a few months ago, which was pretty cool, just, you know, just, like, fix some bugs, like, no major updates. But the game's pretty much been abandoned at this point, and the creatures have even said that they will create a new one uh, soon. In this game, very similar to normal plants and zombies, you are a plant who needs to defend against some zombies. The difference is that you aren't planting plants, you are the plant. And it's a third-person shooter. So think of like Garden Warfare, but Roblox. But and you're defending the lawn, with zombies coming towards it of different types, like Speed Zombie, Cohead Zombie, Shark, Crocodile Zombie, I think is even that. And then as you progress through levels, which are gained through XP, where I either killing zombies or whatever, you will gain new plants, such as Sunflower, Repeater, Snow Pea, Corn Cob Thing, Cactus, Bloomerang, lightning, reed thing, and each plant has its own like special stuff. For example, the repeater can shoot like a freaking minigun, the boomerang can shoot, well boomerangs that kind of come back to him, the uh, the electro weed, what? the electric weed thing will shoot ricochet, or like the corn cob that shoots exploding corn, that's right, exploding corn. And then through the collection of sun, which are also gained by killing zombies or opening presents which happen to drop on the battlefield, you will be able to buy upgrades for your plants. For example, when you first unlock the corn cob, it just uses one corn, which has nothing but very minimal damage. But through upgrades, you can make it explode, you can have up to three corns at one time. And you can tell that a lot of effort was went to the game in terms of in terms of not only design, but also just but also just mechanics and just the overall thoughts of the game itself and the features. For example, a few features, I've already gone over the plants, the upgrades, the zombies, those are accessories you can get while either unlocking, buying, or buying with Robux. Then once you slap that play button, you'll get some epic Pokemon battle music remix. I mean, I'm assuming it's Pokemon because it sounds like Pokemon. And I spent like half an hour scrolling through Pokemon to find the song, but I can't find it. Anyway, I also forgot to mention that there are also maps in, in the game. And, uh, and different waves, and then with every wave of zombies you defeat, more zombies come. And then the zombies will attack your house. So if your house was at a HP, you dead. Your world gets eradicated. And I'm guessing, well, your house kind of like travels through time. Think of like Penny from PBZ2, but uh, it's your house instead. And your house will like travel to some random place. As far as this game difficulty goes, it, it actually has a pretty well balanced. Well, difficulty. With every wave, there are more zombies, and then to get advantage of the next wave, to advance to the next wave, you need to defeat all the zombies. And then the zombies get harder, like you get like crocodile zombies, flying zombies, buckethead zombies, torch zombies, ninja zombies. But of course, like any Roblox game, it, it is really ideal to play with your friends uh, or run to people online. And obviously, since the game is kind of dead, you're not going to find that many people. And if you have no friends, if you want to play with you on Plant vs. Zombies, then that sucks for you too. And then as far as device support goes, there were, like I said, there were a few updates recently. So I don't know if they've added console support since, since, like, since like I also said, they were adding bug fixes and just keeping the game up to date with the current version of Roblox. 
So it does function completely fine by the way. As far as the future potential of this game, like I said, the creators are making a new version, or at least they said they have, maybe they've abandoned it, I don't know. But the game itself is probably not going to get any updates. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes in the future. Although this game is already better than most modern Roblox games, which is funny because this game was created in 2010 and had like better design and and game balancing is better, like, and just more originality than pretty much most games on Roblox. Quarter of hell. And then as a final review, I'm gonna give this game an 8 out of 10, or at least compared to other Roblox games. If you haven't played it already, then go ahead and play it, or if you've been inspired by this video, then go and play it, and then just leave a comment down below on how it went. And then also leave a comment down below for any future reviews, for any future things you want me to review, I will definitely take the time to go through the comments since, you know, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss future review episodes. We now have 80 subscribers. Can we get to 100 subscribers? If you're not subscribed and watching this video, then I highly suggest you subscribe now. But anyway, that's all for the video, and I will see you next time.